Hello, my name is Liam Dwyer. I'm from the Watford FC CSE Trust, and I'm here to talk about the Just Talk campaign, a campaign that has been set up with the guidance of young people to show that talking shows strength and that we should all talk about our mental wellbeing. With young people at the centre of the campaign, there are over 40 agencies involved supporting young people with their mental wellbeing all across Hertfordshire. Us at the Watford FC Community Trust are proud to be one of them. Hi, my name is Beth and I'm from the Welling Hatfield Youth Council and I'm a Just Talk ambassador. It's not always easy to be open about how we feel. Sometimes we might feel ashamed or like people could judge us, but we need to know it's okay. We need to talk to people because talking to people creates a support system. So on days where our mental health isn't great, we have people to talk to. It's important to seek help early if you are feeling isolated, stressed, worried or anxious. The Just Talk website has loads of places you can go. It has services such as COOF, Help for Teens and HeartMind Network which takes you directly to their sites and they can offer immediate help. Just Talk hold a campaign week every year as a way to promote their message. They get schools and organisations involved and hold webinars, sessions and talks to talk about your mental health. Please get involved in these and visit the Just Talk website for more information. We hope to encourage all of you watching this film to feel empowered to get involved with Just Talk Week and make use of the support and resources out there. Hi, my name's Natalia and I'm a Just Talk ambassador and NHS cadet. This week's Just Talk campaign is five ways to wellbeing. Here are the five simple steps. One, learn. Set a goal for yourself and learn something new. Number two, Take notice. Take time to reflect and become aware of your surroundings. Number three, connect. Spend time with friends and family. Number four, be active. Physical activity boosts the mind. And number five, give. Do something nice for someone else. To access the five ways to wellbeing, you can visit the Just Talk website. There's a new e-learning program, which is fun and interactive. So I encourage you to have a go. Help us break the stigma around mental health. We all have mental health, the same as we have physical health. And we should talk about our mental health the same as we talk about our physical health. We all struggle sometimes. Talk and show strength. Hi, my name is Sasha Corbin, Saracens Mavericks captain. During my professional career, I have suffered really bad injuries. Um, I've ruptured my Achilles tendon, I've torn my ACL. Um, so my knee was completely blown out and it was a really, really tough time. I was really positive throughout, however, and I did have a really good support network. So my family was huge in that and I was able to really let go and tell them what I was feeling and not be afraid to do so. Hi, I'm Bella Bayless. I play for Saracens Mavericks and I play centre wing attack. The season where my mental health was probably at its worst was when I first got into England because everyone around me thought that I would be feeling really confident, really happy in my achievements, but really all I felt was the pressure. I was so worried about what everyone thought. I didn't realise that I was good enough and I didn't think I was good enough. And it took me that whole year to get out of that. But when I did, after talking to my mum, after talking to my coaches, it really helped me get out of that hole and for the better because it wasn't, it wasn't a good place for me. In my team, I definitely have friends that I can talk to. Um, I don't have to tell them absolutely everything, but I just get the main things off my chest if I need to, because I know I have that support from them. And also from my coaches, I know I can talk to them. Exercise for me, netball specifically, it is my safe place, my happy space. I know whatever's happened at school, what's ever ha happened in my family, when I go there, when I play, it just lets everything out. I forget everything bad in the world and it just, I'm happy, I'm enjoying my life, I'm enjoying being with my friends, playing the game I love. It's it just, it gives me that rush of adrenaline, that happiness, and it's so important for me to do that. So I love exercising. I love what it does to my body. I love how free I feel when I'm doing it. I don't think about anything else. I'm in that moment. And I feel like that's super important for any, in, any person to be able to just let go and just enjoy what they're doing. Yeah, you get a bit out of breath, but it feels good when you're afterwards, when you're just like, yes, I did it. I'm tired. I can sleep well. I can eat now. Like it just feels so good. And it's something that I think I'll do for the rest of my life. If it's going on a run, 
Going out doing in quarantine, I did a lot of online like dance classes, yoga classes, just something. Something to get you out there, something to get you in the fresh air, to get you just to stop thinking about everything that's going on, anything. I definitely have bad days. They're not all good. And um, when I am struggling, I just talk. I think it's so important to just talk. And I feel free once I've done it. I've, I've spoken to someone that I'm comfortable talking to and I just feel happier for speaking. And then I feel like I can have a plan moving forward about what I'm gonna do next. So that really helps. So if I do get a negative comment on social media, I would definitely tell a friend first and foremost, gosh, can you, can you believe someone so said this or, uh, oh, do they, do they have a point about this? And you kind of start thinking and overthinking. But I think the reason why I've probably put it out there was for a reason. And I think as long as I'm okay with why I've put it out there, it shouldn't really matter about what other people are saying. Um, I, I, again, it's about being authentic and uh, true to myself. Stop worrying, stop caring so much what everyone thinks of you. You know, Everyone is different, everyone has their own little thing. Just, it might be tiny, it might be just something so small, but that is yours. And you need to learn, you need to know that it is okay to be that way, it's okay to be who you are, and you should never, never change. It's definitely okay to feel sad and angry and upset, but it's how you come out of that because you don't want to stay down for too long. One of the most powerful ways to get people to talk is to become a positive role model. Becoming a Just Talk ambassador in your school or club is a way to promote the Just Talk message. Please, Just Talk. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you found it useful. And remember, talking shows strength.